<laughs> Can you please tell us your name and where you are from? My name is Vlad. I'm from Spokane, Washington. Welcome to Tri-Cities, to Hungry Gen. And can you please tell us your testimony? Well, my, my testimony is uh, simple. It's just God's grace. Um, growing up, I grew up in a Christian house. Um, we went to church, but we heard about a big God, but we never, I never seen him. I grew up in a very conservative house where the gift of the Holy Spirit died 2,000 years ago. By the time I was 15, 16, I started drinking. Move forward to when I'm 19, I'm depressed, suicidal, very angry at everyone, and heavily addicted to meth and heroin. Um, through a friend, through a buddy, I ran into the dark side. You know, um, the power of Satan, Lucifer, and his demons. I communicated with the dark side. And my highest point of communication was when I was high on meth. After a while, um, I remember I was out in the woods somewhere. I, I don't remember how I ended up out there far out of the city. And I remember walking down the hill, um, just coming, coming off dope, realizing where I am. And I sat by a tree and I just yelled out to God. I said, God, I, I don't know where you are. If you exist, I'm, I'm, I'm communicating with something, but where are you? Where's the one that loves me? I said, I can't find you, but if you exist, you find me. I got high and I went my way. Three weeks after that, I overdosed. I overdosed. Um, I, I was out of my body. I was watching my body lay on the ground. People were trying to wake me up. They were shaking me. They were slapping me. And I remember though, I remember demons came to take me to hell. I heard their voices. I heard their laughters and I felt their hate to me. There was, a spe there was one specific demon when he was standing there, the darkness on, of him was consuming everything in the room. I can't explain it, but the darkness was leaving him and consuming things. It just went over everything. And I knew that that darkness is coming from me. I knew I was the next. And I just yelled, I just yelled his name. That's all I did. I said, Jesus, help me. And I heard a voice say, this is your final chance. I woke up in the body right there. From there, a couple weeks later, I had another overdose. You know, from there after that one, I was so shaken up. I figured, I realized I needed to go to rehab. I went to rehab three weeks later. The Holy Spirit during work hours as I'm brooming the floors speaks to my heart. He convicts me of my sin. He convicts me of ignoring his love. I go, I repent right there at that house with the leader. As I was repenting, I felt demons leave me. I, I felt demons fighting my repentance, but they left. I cried to the Lord, I cried out to him and he saved me. Three hours later and during a prayer, I knew nothing about speaking in tongues, but all these guys are speaking in tongues and to me, they were a bunch of weirdos. I remember three hours later, I'm full of joy and we're, we're standing in um in a circle kind of hugging each other and right before going to bed praying and everyone's praying in the spirit and I hear that voice again in my heart tell me Vlad would you want to pray like this I said Lord if it's from you I want it next thing I knew I was on my knees I, no I knocked down two guys that were right next to me somehow and I'm praying in a heavenly language that's my story amen let's give him a round of applause but your testimony is, I mean, it's very, very deep, and I'm sure we have lots of people here that can really relate to, to your story. Can you please tell us, how long were you suffering with this? I know you mentioned to me that you were struggling with the drugs and also with, with deep witchcraft as well. So can you tell us about approximately how long you were, you were dealing with this? Around um, nearly five years altogether. Now that you have received God's salvation, can you please tell us what is the difference now with your life with God compared to how it was before you received your salvation? Well, three years ago, I was depressed, I was suicidal, and I was very angry and violent. I was addicted and I was trapped. Today I rejoice. Today I'm free. And I serve the Lord Almighty. See, back then I was a friend of witchcraft and demons. Today I'm a friend of God. And I go around and I fight for souls that are like me. We declare war in Jesus' name. We, we declare a big, 
big revival in Spokane, Tri-Cities, and Washington. We're starting a ministry out there for deliverance and helping people that are where I used to be. That's the difference. I was captive. Now I'm free. Amen.